My bro DT, aka uh, producer name Sidepiece, he found him on Twitter. He was like, yo, this kid from Chicago, he's got like 250 SoundCloud followers. He's, he's like, he has mad talent and nobody knows about him. Let's work on him, let's get hands on. Let's like make him a bigger artist or just work with him, make dope music first off. I put it in a folder and I texted this beat to Juice. Two days later, he was on uh, Periscope. He's like, I'm working on this beat. Nick come through. He had like, I don't know, maybe 50 people in there. We were just watching him make the song live. Now it's time to cook up. I admit it, another hole got me finished. Broke my heart, oh no, you didn't. Fuck sipping, I'ma down a whole bottle. Hard liquor, hard truth, can't swallow. Need a bartender, put me out my sorrow. I say the number one most important thing to me when I'm making a beat is always my melody. Like, if I don't have my melody right, or like the actual musical components of the beat, then I just can't focus from there on out. All right, so first off, I had this uh, this main keyboard I, I played out. Everybody knows gross beat. Everybody who's done a Genius Constructed put gross beat on this. Usually when I make my beats, I'll have the first sound and then I'll go in and I'll add a secondary sound uh, to complement that main sound and add just a bunch of different layers. So after I had that keyboard, I added this um, Electra X uh, bell right here. Shout out bass gutter. And always after my melodies, I go straight to my drums. Add it in this rim, you know, for some more bounce. And then lastly, I think this give it, this song, the most bounce was the hi-hats. So I, uh, I turned the release down, chopped it, so it sounds like a shaker, like a ch ch, -ch, -ch. And then uh, after I had all that, main thing that tied it all together, it's just a simple, really simple 808 pattern. It followed the, uh, the bass notes of the uh, melody, that's always what I do with my 808s. In the second half of the hook, the last component I had on there was uh, this bell, because I felt like the melody was kind of like filtered out and it needed some high-end noise. So I got this uh, Pluck VZ Bells 2, one of my favorite sounds in Nexus. And I got this pattern right here to complement the main one. Everything together right here for the second part of the hook. I took that main first uh, piano sound I had, and then I just copied it over another instance of Omnisphere. And that's just one sound, but it sounds like there's a bunch of different sounds because I added a bunch of effects. One of the effects was uh, this gross beat right here, you know, just half speed again. But I added this uh, gate. It kind of reminded me of like a uh, Drake, like if you're reading this, it's too late, how he does the bells, like 40 did on that. And then I added this uh, plugin called Effect Rack. This basically made it sound like less of like a keyboard, I guess, and more of like a pad. And without the effect, that's what it sounded like. And then with the effects. So I know if I want like a really soft ambient sound, Omnister is my go-to. If I want like a really mainstream sound and sound that other people know, I'll go to Nexus because everybody uses Nexus. Or, you know, Electra, if I want something different that not everybody has or not everybody's using. I structure my beats really. I always like to have something different progressing so it doesn't get really repetitive. You know, you obviously don't want to have an 808 and all these drums playing for three minutes just straight blasting bass in your ear. So it's nice to give the listeners, you know, a good ear break. Now, if you don't do it right, some people they lose all energy with the, the whole song. But I feel like Juice, when he was on here and he added the uh, hook a little early right here, it just kept all the energy and kept everything going.
Even if you go on YouTube today, you look up Juice World type beat on YouTube, it'll be like next to it, it'll be like Nick Mira type beat, side piece type beat, like all those Juice World type beats, and it just sounds like our beats because we crafted that sound so perfectly. Like that's like really my style, really like my main focus. It's like really emotional, ambient sound, and he just matched with that so perfectly. I'm in high school right now, and uh, no, I'm not trying to put 2,000 college classes, worry about, oh, I gotta go to Harvard and I gotta go to this. I don't have to worry about all that pressure. As soon as I get home at like two o'clock from that to the rest of the night, I'm just working. Going to school, I hear people play in their cars and stuff. They have no idea. And I'm just like, dang, I made that. And I'm like, in my, in my head, I'm like, that's just wild. I'm hearing it on the radio here and there. Like, that's just insane. I made it in my bedroom. I made it, another hole got me finished. 